Welcome to the Superstar Communicator podcast of your hosts, Nick Simon and Susan Heaton Wright. We're here to create intrigue and interest about spoken communication to empower you to speak and communicate with confidence, clarity, and credibility in all of your business conversations. We interview expert guests from all over the world. Listen twice a month to be inspired to be a superstar communicator. Hello, everybody. This is Susan and Nick from Superstar Communicator. We are a live stream and also we create this into a podcast. And this is all about using communication to connect with other people, to have better business conversations. And today we're going to talk about the power of videos for human connection. Now, in a world that is far more digital, where people are using social media far more, although we know that successful marketing is not exclusively social media, that we are sending messages via email, WhatsApp, whatever, um, and we're losing some human connection. Using videos for human connection is a very, very powerful way to connect with other people. And I'm going to pick the brains of Nick, who is the co-host on Superstar Communicator, because part of your business, Nick, is creating videos for some of your clients. So welcome, Nick. I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. Good. I'm pleased to hear it. So tell me what you feel videos are. I think they're sort of small snippets of information, um, small or large snippets. Um, as a, a, a composer, previously we would uh, make events of concerts and then the film was invented and films were amazingly um, successful because of their kind of stimulation. Um, they showed what was happening on the screen, but they could also have music. Um, and that was there was um, an expansive um, growth of those kind of uh, films. And now leading up to the today, we have a, an almost saturation of videos and things that are able to stimulate us because of the, that kind of uh, visual element. So videos are basically um, a storytelling advice that you can use to uh, show off or betray a story you want to tell. And are these very long? Are they 30 minutes long? Are they an hour? How do they work? It all differs uh, what you want to do, really. Uh, you can have one or two hour podcasts that um, people can put on in the background, um, or you can have one minute uh, snippets of a conversation or a story um, and it all depends on what the director wants and what the what you want to get out of that um, uh, story. And why why are they important from a communication point of view? I think there's uh, the human element there's the element that you can um, fully involve yourself or Imagine yourself in this scenario um, that helps you be able to understand what's going on in the story. So can you give some examples of videos that you have been editing for some of your clients? Yes. So more recently, I uh, edited um, one minute videos, 28 one minute videos on insights of a an accountancy coach and she basically made these videos wrote the script filmed herself and I essentially added the captions and this was a, a brilliant learning curve for both of us because it, it it helps you be able to write that kind of amount of content um and from my perspective quickly edit that kind of material cut any elements that aren't involved and the end product is 28 minutes of content that you can post 
whenever you want um consistently once a week or something like that and when you do that consistently it uh, builds up to a following so it's very useful now you say about posting um what do you mean by posting and where yeah it, it depends where uh, what your uh, brand is um in this case it was an accountancy firm and that is um hyper business so it would be on linkedin posting on linkedin um with a very focused approach of career advising so um the, these videos would be posted once a month or once uh, a week um fully um about uh, uh career coaching for a, a accountants but um in the case of other things i was involved in a uh, an art exhibition where we created lots of content around the subject of art and music and musicians and that was posted on instagram because it was a kind of less career focused more artistic creative um element do you ever use TikTok? Because I know some people use TikTok. I personally don't, um, because uh, the, the the benefits and drawbacks of social media are amazing, but TikTok is rather too addictive. Um, I've never actually used it, and I, I expect I, I wouldn't use it unless um, it was deemed useful for me. Um, as a composer, it is uh, essentially the, the, the most um, creative and open space for music at the moment, in my opinion. And um, from a perspective of business, I think it's sort of a, a thing that people are more jumping into now, um, where originally it would have just been uh, the younger generation using the an excuse to create their own content but now i think uh people are realizing it's also a great search engine much like youtube it's interesting isn't it thinking about who you're wanting to target and what the purpose is of the video because you mentioned about linkedin being more business minded whereas when you did your art exhibition um you were using instagram do you are you also mentioned about subtitles can you explain a little bit more about those so yeah so the visual element of a video is uh, amazingly stimulating and it means that people are more likely to watch the entire thing and um people don't always want to listen to the audio of a video so captions are an amazing tool for uh simply raising that um that chance of success for video to be uh, watched over and over again and uh if you have captions uh depending on the design um you can essentially make that those kind of videos more interactive with the the use of captions now um what what are your top tips for using videos it depends what what you want out of it but the um uh from my perspective um content can be as easy as a simple conversation uh, like we're can, having we're having yeah and you can take this conversation which might end up being 10 or 30 minutes and cut it up into small snippets, uh, small quotes that you can then either write out into text or post on social media. And it's that simple, um, as long as you do it consistently. Um, and I think that's the, in essence, what video editing is, or the video making is, it's essentially creating content that can be consumed by people who have that kind of interest and want to learn more. Can it also be used for showcasing a particular event like you did with the art event? Do you have anything that's coming up in your diary to edit? Yeah, um, one of the uh, things about being a, a creative, someone who's 
editing and creating things is a, a showreel, which would be really important. Um, it's a really important video thing that you have up your sleeve whenever you're networking or building connections. You want to have something that's readily available to show your expertise, your skills. And a showreel can uh, be extremely useful. Um, for instance, I've made showreels for my own music, um, showreels for performers. And most recently, uh, uh, someone has um, organized a charity event uh, involving drink, lots of drinks and uh, a golf course. So I will, I will be editing the, the materials that she got uh, from her filming interviews and things uh, at the event, driving the golf buggies and cutting that into a consumable showreel that can showcase uh, this, this event, uh, people found it fun, that kind of thing. And that can be shown, uh, posted on LinkedIn or social media. That sounds brilliant. Before we go, obviously, this is work that you do. You have your own business editing. Can you say about how people could contact you directly if they're interested in having a conversation around you doing some video editing for them? Yeah. Um, so the best way for me is LinkedIn. Um, I re frequently use it um, every day. And that's, in my opinion, the most um, business-like social media that you can uh, simply reach out to other people you're interested in working with. Um, and I also have my website, which is a, mainly a music website that also showcases my video editing. And I think um, uh, those two places, uh, this live stream, you can go through this live stream to my profile and just for people who are listening what is your website address it's nicksimonmusic.co.uk brilliant so remember if you are thinking or considering using videos as part of your marketing to either showcase your expertise or to share knowledge do get in touch with Nick. I'm sure that he would be able to help you. So thank you very much for watching and for listening today. This is Susan and Nick from Superstar Communicator. We are passionate about you being better, being effective in all business conversations. And this includes video. So don't forget to get in touch with us if you've got questions and ideas of things that you would like us to discuss. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for listening. You have been listening to the Superstar Communicator podcast with your hosts, Nick Simon and Susan Heaton Wright. If you like what we do, why not buy us a coffee on buyusacoffee.com forward slash superstarcoms and subscribe to hear all our podcasts.